So this past weekend, I attended Baby Ali's christening celebration. So she's the second kid of my college friend, si Drew. And the last time we had our siya was September of 2020, before I got married to the province. And looking at her now, I'm bilis bilis to make her a girl, and there are like signs that she's a girl, really. And it's funny to look back, because my college friends got to know her. And before, we just thought about how to do our lab reports, how to do our presentation, how to do our quiz, how to do our thesis. Pano yung thesis defense namin, pano yung grad pick namin, and pano yung field trip namin. Pano kami ka-graduate, minsan we're just dancing inside the mall, or kaya naman nagbabowling kami every after term. And fast forward to today, ito na kami ngayon, we have different careers, and some already have their own family. I guess what I really wanted to talk about for today's video is about the pressure of getting left behind. I've talked about this this idea in my previous videos, pero kasi I just felt reconnected to this topic again. And siguro kasi by society standards, we have to hit certain milestones by by certain age. For example, um, uh, figure out your career path, climb the corporate ladder, be the manager, be the boss, and then naman uh, for for the relationship, find a partner, marry them, have kids, buy a property, buy a car, repeat the process, and that's it. I thought it would be smooth sailing para sa akin. I thought it would be just a straight line kasi alam ko naman yung process. Pero in reality, there's a lots of ups and downs and sobrang daming uncertainties. Some people are able to take those milestones ahead, have a family, have kids, get their own space, have their own car, have their own business or investments. Ganun lang talaga. Panapanahon lang yan. Pero I think at some point in time, everybody gets there. Naalala ko when I was the last one left in school kasi I was the last one to graduate dun sa friend group namin. And at the time, I felt really stuck kasi alam ko naman yung goal ko and that is to graduate. Pero there's just, there's this one exam na hindi ko talaga mapasa-pasa and eventually, after taking multiple tries, I pass the exam and graduate and now we're all on the same boat. Another thing that I wanted to bring up is this quote. This is not for me, pero this is a very good reminder. Comparison is the thief of joy. And whenever I, I remember this quote, it snaps me out of my delusion of comparing myself to others na, bakit si Ganto already got this and that, pero ako, I'm nowhere near where I wanted to be or where I wanted to get. And it's really weird for me na that's how we are worth thing and kano yung societal norm na yun na we keep on comparing ourselves to others. It's compounded by social media na the moment you open your app, you'll see other people's lives na it looks so perfect and it looks so created. Pero actually, after talking to to my friends and spending time with them, in reality, hindi naman talaga yun yung ane yung actual life nila. Alam mo, it's it's just creation and ganun lang talaga na just beware na what you see in social media is not perfectly true. May may katotohanan din pero alam mo medyo exact siya. So yeah, beware of that then and don't expect me to be this articulate or to be this well spoken in real life. Last thing that I wanted to add before I totally wrap this video is pick good friends kasi good friends will pull you up and they will never pull you down. And I think this is one aspect in my life that I get really, really lucky kasi I don't have to deal with a lot of bullshit people. It just makes my life so simple and easy and alam mo, walang toxicity and shit. So I highly, highly suggest na to surround yourself with good people and cut your relationship with bad people and that's it. Pero in mind, it's been one year since we had our hard lockdown and tumataas na naman yung cases natin. And hopefully, we receive some good news in the recent weeks. And I wish you all well and see you in the next video. Bye!